Today we are going to show you how to measure and calculate your reaction speed. How to improve your reaction speed by performing different reaction based exercises. Probably many desire to know the speed of their reaction. Now the answer on the question, can I catch up with Schumacher or will I be able to become a pilot or just increase the speed of the reaction? Well, first of all, you need to measure it. You can measure it with the very complex devices called chrono reflexometers, but you can measure it with a very simple and affordable method, just with a simple school ruler. By the way, no less accurate but obviously to measure it you will need another person you want to help okay everything beneath is just a school ruler so you're supposed to stand up for the test the ruler begins like just above like this i drop it i didn't know you were gonna drop it <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the point <laughs> whatever i drop you have to catch and we measure like on the top because it starts from the top okay 11 now two more times so it's supposed to be done like three times and 12. Thank you for your help. I'm You're going welcome. to explain something and then we go to the gym. Sure. Before we actually go to the gym, let's find out what limits the speed of person's reaction. The reaction rate of the person is determined by the work of the nervous system. When the person reacts to very strong irritation, for example, he pulls away hand from the hot object, a simple reflex comes to play in which brain does not participate. So signal from the receptor goes to the spinal cord and straight to the muscle. And speed of the impulse several tens meters per second. The determined factor is the time of synaptic transmission. That's why when you touch a hot object, you move your hand away and then you feel pain. This is due to the fact that the signal from the pain receptor travels a nerve fiber of a different type at lower speed. If we are talking about person reaction to a stone flying in your face, then it's also a reflex reaction. So I transmit the signal of the rapid movement not only in the brain, but also through special nerve pathways to the muscles, which provide a quick avoidance reaction. If we're talking about reaction while playing tennis, then the gradual improvement in reaction speed is associated with the formation of the stereotypical reflexes that allow you to react without participation of the cerebral cortex, basically without thinking. And most importantly, such reactions are carried without feedback back. It means that there is no constant adjustments to the movement. And when we just learn to make a new movement, there is a complex interaction. The muscle is given a signal about the action and the signal comes back about the result of the action. And there is a constant adjustment. It means that muscles moves under a constant control, which takes longer time. All this process involves a different part of the brain. And this is actually dope that humanity figured it out. How to increase your reaction speed. One of the best ways you can learn to respond to stimulus that precede the action. For example, in a boxing, to hit hard, the punch comes from your feet to your waist, to your torso, to your shoulder, and then to your fist. The experienced boxer can see all these pre-action moves to make a decision to avoid it or block it. It is only necessary to develop a conditional reflex on it and right response. Michael J. White, who is a legit martial artist, showed the trick how to punch without being seen. What, what he does, he te technically take away all pre-action moves. His body completely still and he throw the punch without any pre-action moves. That's why the person who hold the hand cannot avoid the punch because there is no signal, there is no information that punch is coming. That's why this trick works pretty well. You can actually try it with your friends. Okay, I think it's enough of the theory and I think my personal favorite is the table tennis. It's fun, it's entertaining and this is good cardio. A very reaction speed demanding sport. Okay, let's go to the gym. So it's a, like for Formula One pilots. So I think the Drivers. feeling, yeah, we call them pilots. Oh, that's awesome. It's like actually way more entertaining than on the video. Well, the video uh, makes, doesn't even look like it's supposed to be fun. It's just like yeah, training. When you do it with a like Formula One pilot, you just like, uh, just warm up the pilot and make sure that everything working well. Uh, here you can trick, you can shift, you can open your hand and still like uh, lock in with the thumb, which is, I think, interesting concept of uh, tricking each other. I, th I think it's fun. Also come to catch it, you know, not only react on it. You change your technique though. You're going down again instead of... Yeah, it's fine. I like okay. going down. <laughs> what? I think this is my second favorite exercise. Mm. I think in my list it will be like ping pong in the first place. This is on the second. Let's go solo exercises. 
So you, you make a knot like this and just put it inside the hole and it kind of stays there. Done. Look, it's 90 bucks. Save 10% and $25. Oh my God. Zero dollars. I found this on the tennis court and this is from the beach hat. I think it's from John's father. He gave me that. You need a t-shirt. What do you want to do? You want to just like tighten knot? Maybe two. I think... Is I... that mode of movement? Yes. Okay, so from here you start like doing your exercises. This is actually not as easy as they make it on YouTube videos. And never miss your punch. Do you want to try? Very addicting. I don't know, I think it's a different type of personalities, but for me, I can do it like forever. Never tried this before. I've seen people do it at ninja competitions. It's a like good hand-eye coordination. How hard are you supposed to hit it? Uh, full force. <laughs> I do that as a lie, but I don't see it, how it reacted. This is really weird. Never tried to punch something that was moving. Take What's the last time you've been in a fight? Certainly, uh, oh, you have de-escalated a... many fights, but I haven't actually been in a fight myself, oh. except for one time when someone hit me really hard in the face when I was in fourth grade. Oh, in the fourth grade? Yeah, he was in like sixth or seventh grade. Broke my nose, had to get surgery, that was fun. Really? Getting better at this. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I said that. Zero to five, I'll get a solid four. Why not five? Because of that. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Reasonable. I think next one known as Jackie Chan coin trick. When you put coins on your hand, uh, like flip it up and catch one by one. I think it's pretty dope. It looks cool. I've tried it before, but I'm really bad at it. The rule is you flip it up and when coins fly, you grab one by one. If you use two hands, when you throw, you cannot catch the first coin with your free hand. It's cheating, because you basically throw the first coin in your hand. <laughs> so don't do that, don't be that dude. Yeah. Right. So three, it's one, two, three. Throw with your right, catch with your right first. Throw yeah. with your left, catch with your left yeah. first. Yeah, you can throw two, Ooh. do like this. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a very fun though. I tried this one other time in my life and I was ep I epically failed it. Is there a technique to how to throw it? The coins, mm -hmm. when they fly, Try to make them like in one line. Okay, so. so make the top one go a little higher? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And try to stay in the shot. How do you... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How do you open your hand to catch another one? Do you have to like uh, wait till it's on the yeah, way yeah, down? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you kind of like hold it and then when you uh, oh, go down, okay. you open it and it stays inside. Yep. Aha. That physics. Makes more sense, yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't lose my money. I studied physics in college. <laughs> One, two. Hi. I didn't record this one. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it again. Is that one of the jokes that you... No, no, no. Did? Actually, kind of was out of frame. One, two. Perfect. Let's do three. Three. This is pretty cool exercise, but it's already getting like some investments because if you do mistake, you'll lose 25 cents. Uh-oh. I mean, like four mistakes, it's a dollar. 400 mistakes, it's a hundred dollars. So, yeah. I don't know. I actually lose them if I don't catch them. Uh, if you could lose them, yeah. No, no, no. I don't have authorities. Zero. <laughs> you penalize yourself. Look, <laughs> it's a good back exercise too. Good what exercise? Back exercise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you always pen <laughs> to pick up the coins. How high are you allowed to throw them? Uh, high is not. It doesn't mean better. When I practice, like you do, like one, then one, two, then one, two, then you do one, two, three. And if you fail, you go on one, two again. One, two. To get like kind of warm up feeling. Three, let's do four. My PR is five. Yeah. Uh, with one, with one hand, I think at some point when you get better at something, you start loving it more. You know. Yeah. Majorly. Are you happy? <laughs> <laughs> Got my PR! Yay! This is the first Three time. Three seventy-five cents. Is it first timer? 
Yeah, first time I got three, yeah. Oh, you see a little bit of practice and you get them better. There's no cut corners, right? No. But I think we lost one coin. Uh oh. My money. Oh, I found it. I'm a YouTuber. I can't afford to lose 25 cents. <laughs> it's not as enjoyable, but it doesn't lose my attention. Put it that way. Uh, okay. It makes me want to keep going and going. So it's, <laughs> it's like you're close enough where you want to just keep trying it and want to get better. So I'd give it a solid three and a half stars if I'm allowed three to do half. I'm allowed to do halves, yeah. Okay. Once I got three consistently, mm -hmm. I think it would turn into a four. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> so it's based on the results. Not yeah, on the, I guess oh, okay, so. I okay. think so. I think as you get better at something, uh, when you enjoy it more, you do it more with more skill and more ease, it becomes more enjoyable and you could play. It's like when you're playing the piano, when you're learning how to play the piano or any instrument, if you feel like, oh, this is, a, this is just a drag, oh, whatever. But then you become more skillful at it and it becomes more playful. It's a very controversial topic because I can't agree with that. I think you have to love the grind by itself. To become a professional piano player, you have to, you have to love learning and practicing and be by yourself alone. Well, I'm talking about when you, you first start to learn. You can't, you can't love the result. You have to love the, the journey, you know? I, I think it might be different when you're first starting to learn, especially if someone forces you to do it, like learning an instrument. But oh then, my God, but then I you hate start it to learn. with all my heart. But now when you're adult, it's like, okay, I appreciate it, but jeez. Mm. <laughs> Juggling is fine, but I think since you got technique, you just have to add more sub objects. But it's a good hand-eye coordination exercise. Can you juggle? I can't do like any of the like fancy things. Fancy things? Yeah. Just the basics. I can't do like I've seen people do the. Oh yeah, juggling is an art, man. Yeah. So or like I... doing it against the wall. And yeah, like against the floor. It's like beautiful. Yeah, lower it go, it's harder it gets. Like you know, that's why it's independent genre in circus. A reaction speed test. This one. I watched it. So it's a video when you have to clap every time when you see, uh, I think it's a red uh, circle. Yeah. And there's a different levels. To show you one by one, every time when you red circle, you have to clap. Stage one. Stage one, let's go. Clap when you see a red circle. <laughs> so I caught myself on the thought that like oh only one percent of people can pass this stage mm -hmm. It's like oh my god I want to be in this one percent does it make sense when you identify as an athlete who is reactive and knows how to handle these sort of situations you feel like you should be at least in the higher percentages maybe not the one percent for me it felt like oh I should at least get like the average or at least exceed the average a little um, and when I said the top one percent for me immediately clicked like oh <laughs> no way <laughs> <laughs> Especially something so like pr precisely uh, skill set. I mean, there is no obligation to be the unique person. You know, there, it's not an obligation. Oh, everyone is. <laughs> okay, this is not my point. My point is, there is nothing bad to be okay with the reaction speed, be okay with doing things. What everyone is a unique and irrepeatable manifestation of the human mystery. That doesn't mean everyone's just as cool as another. <laughs> it just means everyone's different. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. What's the conclusion? Oh, conclusion? Ping pong is awesome. <laughs> <laughs>